What do we want in life? Love, good health, success, friends, family, a home, a car, recognition, peace of mind, courage, happiness? Or would you make your world a better world in which to live? What do we all want more of in life? Time and money or peace and happiness? What if I were to tell you that I could guarantee you happiness? A little ray of sunshine in your life? What if I were to tell you how to find more time to have peace in your life? What if I were to tell you how happiness does not always come from just money? Would you believe me? Would you trust me? Well, I have learned one thing in life, and that is working harder and longer each day does not bring the solution to more money and certainly does not bring more happiness. And I learned it the hard way. So why did I keep doing it? I'll tell you why. Because I thought that if I worked harder and longer, that my life would improve. So I kept doing the same thing over and over, every day, every week. As Henry Ford said, if you keep doing what you've always done, you will always get what you always got. And all it took was one small change of direction to set me on a new path of change, a positive step down a path towards happiness. I also asked myself, what is the purpose of my life? Am I something more than a routine fulfilling machine? I have achieved goals and targets, but am I happy? I love to do this, but I'm stuck in that. Are you happy with the way you're living? Do these questions bother you? Hello, my name is Brendan McCauley and I have been through this experience. I have been through painful experiences in my life. I've been through job loss and bankruptcy. I've been through nearly losing my family. Believe it or not, already knocking on my 50s, I ask myself, for how much longer will this continue? When, if not now, what is it that I really want in life? What is my purpose in life? Have you ever experienced those feelings? Those feelings of self-doubt, of despair, of fear of the unknown, of the future? I started to look for something, something more, for more meaning in my life. I started to look inside. Something within me had to change to change my perspective and realize my happiness. I started taking personal growth courses, listening to motivational speakers, reading blogs and articles. However, some seem to be too monotonous while others seem to be impractical. I knew I could not go to the Himalayas and meditate my way through to happiness, which is a pity as that would be a great experience. Back to the Himalayas, I did actually visit them once. Nor could I sell myself to be strong and simply knock my way through life and become a millionaire. I've spent over 30 years working in the corporate world. I understand how money is made and what position means. These things are not satisfying anymore. They do not bring me ultimate happiness. I came to the conclusion that the solution to my search for happiness was somewhere in the balance of everything. I realized over time that my true purpose in life would be found in service to others. I continued my search on how to achieve this and in time with some friends from India, we started questioning life, making sense from our life experiences. Through sharing ideas, we found the solution in one word, balance. But balance among what? Work or life? Not just one or the other, we went deeper. And through a moment of inspiration, we devised the mass model. The four dimensions of self, material, ego, social, and spiritual. We found that in our life experiences and all the learning from scientific research to philosophical and religious wisdom, in some way could fit well into this model. I took this idea to my close circle of friends and when I spoke to them about our idea, they were immediately ignited by the concept. After all, isn't being happy the ultimate desire 
in our life? Aren't all our actions orientated towards the pursuit of happiness in some way or the other? And now we have a possible pragmatic way to discover this, to share this path to happiness. I knew I had found the purpose of my life. I want to travel this path and wish to take this flame to as many as possible. What could be more noble than helping someone discover his, her happiness? Life is so much more beautiful in its true sense. We want to help people relight their fires within, to rekindle the flames of their passion in life, and in doing so to start to walk on their own path of happiness. We thought of bringing this to the world in the form of your happiness meter, a kind of self-learning resource which is not prescriptive. Each one of us are somewhere along the path of life with our own experiences to share. It is impossible to guide someone without understanding their situation. So we have created this resource as a guiding light which is designed to help you in identifying and evaluating your own preferences, your own situations, your own path to happiness. I have dedicated myself to this. I have no doubt that this is my life project. However, this is not my project. This is your project as well. Happiness is for everyone. And together, it can be so easy and fun to achieve this ultimate goal. Please join us. Please help us. All of us have finite lives, so please come together to make this a happier place. Become and help others become their happier you version two.